was. No question. No the Saints question. didn't make and a play. He a, blew a play. As a, as a competitive player, he should look in the mirror and say, I could have changed the outcome of that game. Yeah, man. And I think if the team collectively looks in one big mirror, mm -hmm. they'll say, all right, Quarterback threw two picks. They got outplayed. That fourth down where they no. give up that fake. I'm yelling at the screen. It's a fake punt. It has to be a I fake know. punt in that moment. And, you know, credit to Sean Payton, man. Guts a call. Are you ready for the battle of the Shans? Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> I cannot it. wait until that happens. <laughs> Just a week from today, so or a week next week, so this week. This week, we can call this Oh, yeah. Week. It's all moving so fast. This weekend. Uh, the Eagles season ends in the Superdome, but could that loss also have ended Nick Foles' time in Philly? Let's take a listen to Foles discussing his future after the game, because that's all we're going to be talking about. I, I think the big thing is, you know, what the city means to me. Um, you know, it's always welcome uh, me and my family. Um, it's really been a, a joy to live there and be a part of everything and, you know, wear the green and wear the jersey. So. No matter what, you can't ever take that away. Um, we, we were able to do some really special things. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But I'll tell you this, I've enjoyed every single moment. And it, it'll always have a special place in my heart. The city, the fans, the people, um, everything about it. Um, there's nothing like playing in the link um, in front of the crowd. Um, it, it's, it's some of my favorite moments. Um, my family's got to experience some. Um, my daughter's got to experience some. So we'll see what happens. But I've enjoyed everything. Enjoy, Joe. It sounds like a little bit of a pre-farewell speech, if you ask me, Ian Rappaport, joining us this morning. Uh, great weekend of football. We are excited about it being narrowed down to four, but we just heard Nick Foles say how much Philadelphia has meant to him. So what are the chances yesterday was his last game as an Eagle? Now, my understanding, Kay, is the chances are very, very good that this is the final time we see Nick Foles in an Eagles uniform. And, you know, he was actually asked post-game, do you want to be back? And he said, well... It's a complicated question, but no matter what happens, it's been a joy. You're right. This sounds like a guy who is likely almost certainly done here. And there's a couple different ways this could happen. Uh, the Eagles could exercise his option. Foles could then pay back $2 million and buy his freedom. The Eagles could also franchise tag him and attempt to trade him. Either way, this is a player who has earned the right to be a starting quarterback, something the Eagles very much know. Meanwhile, they are going forward with Carson Wentz. Despite the injuries, that is a guy they still believe in. He is their franchise quarterback. So either way, Nick Foles is going to be in another uniform, and the Eagles are moving forward with Wentz for 2019. Meanwhile, there was another injury yesterday, one that was much more, another injury uh, situation yesterday, much more under the radar. Alshon Jeffrey, you guys were talking about, uh, obviously had the miss and then stood up at his locker, took responsibility. He was actually playing with cracked ribs, something that an MRI revealed earlier in the week. Not a lot of people knew about it. He kind of gritted his teeth and, and gutted it out, uh, but he was injured during most of that game. Yeah, I can respect that. I've played with cracked ribs before. Now, you mentioned injuries and teams believing in their players. What about the Patriots and how much they might believe in Rob Gronkowski? How possible is it that this is his final season as a Patriot? No, it is very possible, and I've talked to several people close to Gronk who do believe that whenever the season ends, it obviously was not going to be yesterday with the way the Patriots played against the Chargers. They believe Gronk will sit down and strongly consider retirement. He did the same thing last year and actually threatened to retire rather than be traded to the Detroit Lions. But those people who know him very well believe that when he contemplates this, he will likely go the other way. In other words, there's a good chance that we've seen the last of Rob Gronkowski whenever this year ends. And, of course, uh, he's been through so much physically. My understanding is this year has taken an emotional toll on him, guys. Uh, he's been through a lot and, and clearly... Maybe not the same player he's been, uh, so this could be Gronk's last hurrah here. Some mo monster, monster blocks from him, letting Sony Michelle do his thing out there as oh, yeah. a rookie. Ian Rappaport, we appreciate you. This was your worry all along, of course.